welcome to another Budget and Legit video. We have a 2009 Ford Focus Estate behind us, uh, 1.6 diesel. Uh, and what we are doing today is we're going to install a tow bar. The wires for the tow bar, because this needs a special box because it's got canvas wiring in it. Not only that, we are also going to install the electrics for a caravan. So if you want to, as you're driving, to run the fridge and to charge the battery so if you've got food in it, it doesn't go bad. And again, there's special boxes and special wiring for that. So that's what we're going to do. This might be a couple parts in the video. I'm not 100% sure yet. It just depends uh, how long it's going to take. The hardest part about doing any kind of job like this is hiding the wires. We need, um, for this box, we need a, a feed direct from the battery to feed this box for the electrics for a trailer and we also need more or less the same for the caravan side of things so that's going to be the hardest part well not so much hardest but that's what's going to take the longest to hide the wires nice and neatly so they're not going to get in your way they're not going to get trapped and you're not going to be able to see them the actual fitting of the tow bar they can be tricky but it's just it's kind of straightforward so we're going to whip off the bumper first not going to show you taking off the bumper it's just a bumper most cars are more or less the same. You've got a couple of bolts up here. So you've got one this side, one that side. Depending on where your lights are, if your back lights come into the bumper, you might have to take your back lights off because there could be a couple of screws in behind the bumper. There's going to be a couple of screws underneath and a couple of screws along the side here. And then the bumper's going to come off. That's the same with 99% of the cars. So once I've got the bumper off, We'll turn the camera back on and we'll get ready to put the tow bar together to fit it underneath. Right, I've got the bumper off, which was a nightmare. Whoever wired in the uh, sensors, the reversing sensors, just did it arse about face. So that was annoying, but anyway, they're off. Not only that, the two bolts that hold on the side of the uh, bumper, they were all rusty. They have a captive, a captive bolt inside plastic and of course the plastic just gave way so I'm going to have trouble putting that on but anyway for the time being we need to get the other bits on now the case of most tow bars well any other tow bar I've fitted there's maybe a few cars which are different but um, you could say 99.9% .9 of the cars you have to take the, the back crash barrier off now this, on this one it's plastic on some cars it's metal it just depends on the car but the tow bar replaces it so the tow bar comes your crash barrier basically uh, and another good thing about a tow bar is if someone does hit the back of you and it's not particularly fast, the tow bar can actually save you um, rather than kind of push into your car. If they hit you too fast, the tow bar tends to do more damage. But anyway, we need to whip this off and we're not going to use it. We don't need it again. There's four 13mm bolts. Now, a couple of them look very rusty, but again, if they break, it doesn't matter. We're not going to be using it. This one looks really bad. It came off, so that's okay. If they were as important, I wouldn't be using the air. But because they're not... Ah, it should now come off. Right. So we don't need that now. The reason why it has to come off, on this particular one, if you see the holes, the square holes just here and here, some tow bars, they, they completely fit inside these holes. Um, and that's what you bolt the tow bar to. But on this particular one, this little plate goes in first. So the plate goes in, the two holes stick out underneath, which I will show you, and then the tow bar bolts to this. So that's how this particular one works. That's why when, once these are in place, roughly... So on this particular one, the tow bar is going to kind of be under here, kind of like that. So... Um, that's what you're going to see. Obviously, you're not going to see anything apart from the actual the ball hitch, but that's basically where this goes. As this slides down here, this big bracket bolts to it under here, and then the tow bar, the main tow bar, goes through these two holes here. It's quite simple. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to mock everything up, have everything all the nuts and bolts on that I can loosely before I put it up. Now the more weight you put on it as you put up the harder it is but it kind of it does kind of work. Now we have to make sure we get the right nuts and bolts so what I like to also do is keep get all the nuts and bolts that look 
Right, so then four max, then two max, then two match. They obviously match there. These are special washers, they acted like wash and um, lock washers, so it's important to use them. These then match with them. We have two lock nuts, which looks like it's for them. And again, we need four of them. We have four washers. So the washers must be for there. And then two for there. And these four are for the side plates. And we seem to be missing a couple of these. Them for the side plates, they're a lot. Oh no, we're okay now. Yeah. Use these washers to spread the load. Now, so that's kind of just move these where you can actually see them on camera. Now, I hope you can see all them on camera, and that just makes your life a bit easier to figure out which bolt goes where. There is instructions, but, well, I just throw them away, but that's just me. So, now, another important thing is when you get these side plates, now, all tow bars are slightly different, but you do kind of get them in a couple of parts. I don't know if the camera's going to show this, but there's a slight angle on this. So there is a left and a right. If you get the wrong side, it's not going to fit properly. So make sure you get the right side on the right side and so on. So I know I'm more or less right with that. So what I'm going to do is just uh, put the two end plates on first. So again, we know how they go. going to um, tighten these. Now, hopefully I can do it this way. There's a chance that this won't work. There is a chance that I'm not going to be able to do it this way. I might have to put these plates on first, but hopefully we get away with it. And what I was explaining is, this then slides down the two holes I was showing you, which then lines up with these two holes that it's supposed to as you can see it lines up with them two holes you put um, washers and stuff on there and that's what holds it into the car so it's it's very simple and yet very clever at the same time and again you need to watch what you're doing make sure you've got the tow bar because this tow bar has got a few angles to it make sure you've got the tow bar the right way because as you can see I could put that that side and it'd be wrong so just kind of keep an eye on it in what you are doing this is why we just hand tight everything at first we don't don't tighten any bolts until you've got this properly in because there is going to be movement you can see now I know the bolts are loose but as you can see all that movement so you don't want to tighten anything until you've got everything in place, you know the tow bar is centred, you know it's the right way before you even attempt to tighten anything. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in and then show you Let's get the camera. I'm going to put this in first and then get the camera around so you can actually see where it goes. Feed this through. Line it up with the two holes. There's one and there's two. So as you can see, oh I just pushed it back. These two is where the actual tow bar is going to connect to. So them two long plates, that's where it's going to sit. Now this is where you want to get everything ready before you put it up. It's easy with two people. I'm going to try on my own. It's mostly going to be a lot of swearing, but you get the idea. Now what is important, 
On these you get four nuts, you get four washers and you get four of these um, lock washers. Now it's important to note what you need to do is you need to put the washer on first then the, the, the lock washer because the lock washer locks against the bolt and that's important. You need to make sure the lock washer is against the bolt. If it was this way where the lock washer is on the inside of the bolt it's not going to do its job. So you need it where the lock washer is touching the nuts because otherwise it's not going to work. Bolts can come loose and you can obviously have serious problems if you're towing something. Right, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to attempt it on my own without using anything. I should really maybe use the gearbox stand which would make my life a bit easier. So I'm just going to see if we can get it, which there's just no way I'm going to do this. I don't think. No, I don't want to damage the exhaust. I'm going to get my gearbox stand. Now, you might say, well, if I put the two end plates on first, it'd be a bit easier. Maybe in this case it would be a bit easier, but it's, it's six and one, half dozen the other. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you've got two people, it definitely doesn't matter. I've got a gearbox stand, so it's not really the end of the world. But in this situation, it would most probably be easier if I was to put the side bits on first. <laughs> I got one! Right, hopefully you can see this. So what I'm going to do first is put the washer on, just the normal washer. Then I'm going to put the lock washer on, if I don't drop it. And then I'm going to put the nuts on. Like I said, nothing is getting tightened, only hand tight, until I know I've got everything in place. And as you can see, that was done with absolutely no swearing. All I can say is thank God for the editing button. Now, as you can see, it's not tight, but it's in there. We roughly know kind of the place it needs to be. We're also going to have to cut a hole in the bumper for the actual tow bar part to stick out. So, next thing we need to do, put on the two bolts to hold the actual ball in place. So again, going to be hand tight. Now these come with lock nuts, so you don't have to do anything special with these. Just kind of put them on. And again, we're not going to tighten anything. At least now we'll know where we need to cut the bumper. Now we might not need to cut the bumper. You don't obviously have to cut up here, you have to cut some of the plastic away under here, but on this one, it's actually, we don't need to do it. So, it's always a good thing just to test fit your bumper, just to make sure, and as we can see on this one, we don't have to do it. So that's good. But what you sometimes have to do, is cut a section just out of the plastic bottom here. Uh, just for it to clear the actual mounting. Because what happens sometimes is this part of the tow bar or even sometimes this neck of the tow bar is too far up and it just it just hits on the bumper but this one this one we've got. And they're easy to cut you can use a hacksaw you can use a sharp knife blade what I tend to use is a little uh, air 
at hacksaw tool and it just cuts it out very nice and neat. Um, it's just when you're doing kind of expensive cars like Range Rovers and stuff like that, you just want to be nice and neat because you don't want obviously a dirty hole. Like you said, you can't see it unless you look underneath, but you still want to make sure it's nice and neat. So, we're kind of, we're getting there, but before we put the ball hitch on, this is the ball hitch, but before we put that on, we've got to remember we are wiring up lights and we're also wiring up a caravan socket. So, these need to go on first. Now, depending on the type you use, some, some cars, they fit down here on these two bolts. So, you just need and the best thing to do, especially on tow bars, is to put the head of the bolt this way. Don't leave the nut sticking out that way. If you want, on this part of the tow bar, you want the bolt to be going that way, not sticking up through that way. Doesn't really make that much of a difference, it just looks a lot neater this way. So, before I hand tight putting that on, I am just going to put these two on first. They can overlap each other, doesn't matter. Two bolts through, and them through here. And then, through there. Same thing again, you have these special washers, lock washers, and we'll put them on. Hand tight. And there we go. Yeah. Simple as that. There we have to worry about doing the wiring, we have to feed the wires up through here. Um, but we can kind of worry about that on the next video. Let's just put them up out of the way. So essentially, that's what it's going to look like. Also a good thing is to make sure you've got these the right way. Make sure they're not coming down that way. You haven't got them upside down. So just check that they are going the same way and then you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. So, all I need to do now is go around tightening everything up. I'm going to tighten these four main bolts up here first, then tighten the four bolts that hold the bar on, then tighten the two bolts that hold the neck on, and then tighten the two bolts that hold the actual ball hitch on. Now, so I'm going to tighten the four first, and they're 17mm. I'm just going to nip them up on all four sides first before I kind of do my proper tightening. So I can feel that it's just getting nipped up. Just so you tighten everything nice and evenly. Now they're all nice and nipped up, so I'm going to now properly tighten these four bolts. And especially when you're doing tow bars, if you're, if you're unsure of what bolt you have, just get a bit of Tipex, and once you've properly tightened it, just mark it with Tipex, then you know it's done, and you're not saying, oh, did I or didn't I do it. Now that's them four done, and as you can see, even the difference that's made now, the only thing that's moving is this neck here, even though these bolts aren't even tight yet. So now we've got 19 mils. Give you a, uh, an idea of how good these little wa lock washers work. 
Once you get it fairly tight, I don't need to use the span. As you can see, that bolt is now not turning. That's just from the friction of that lock washer. That's how well they work. So I can just use the ratchet to tighten this without a spanner. Right, just four more to do. I'm going to do the two on the neck now, which again are 19 mils. Now it's no harm after a couple of weeks, especially after you put a new tow bar on, is just to go around, just double check, make sure your bolts are tight, they haven't come loose, nothing's catching, nothing's doing what it shouldn't do. Now, two more bolts left to do, which I'd say are 24 mil. And yeah, 24 mil. I'm just going to do that little bit bigger bar with these ones because they are a bigger bolt. Now, that is how to put a tow bar on. And that will kind of give you an idea what it looks like with the bumper on. Now, I'm going to call it for this video for part one.